Okay. Okay. Hi. I wanted to discuss this milliometer project which I've been working on. Uh, it's actually a project which uh, Frank Milburn, a friend of on the Element Fourteen forum, he designed the circuit and and the printer circuit board and he sent me a prototype copy of it. So I've just been experimenting with it and it seems to work really well at the moment. Uh, it still needs some work, but it's definitely usable. Now the way it works is there's a power entry here and there's a voltage regulator to drop the voltage down to about 4.7 and stabilizes it with a filter. And then there's two uh, constant current sources, one for 10 milliamps and one for one milliamp. And uh, so that provides two ranges and then just using V equals IR, uh, if the voltage is, if the current source, it, uh, if if that constant current is fed through a resistor, then a voltage will be developed across it, which then gets amplified here by 100 approximately. And uh, then it just gets displayed on a panel meter. And the way I've been testing it is uh, I've just been using resistance wire mainly, which, uh, is, which is a bit cheaper than you know, just having lots of low resistances. Um, so I've, um, so rather than purchasing low resistance, I've just been using that, just cutting it to a random size and then attaching a ferrule on the end uh, for a location where I can put the clips for the, for the measurement. So I've got several of those which I've created. And um, the cabling back, if I disconnect this, See, it's a four wire measurement system and there's Kelvin clips where the two two sides of the connector, the top and the bottom, uh, they're two actual separate wires going off into the milliometer. And it's very stable. So if I power this thing up, so at the moment it's unpowered, turn it on. All right. Uh, at the moment it's out of range, so it's measuring the highest uh, value at the moment. Um, there, there is an out of range LED indicator, but I've not actually fitted that. There's also the two ranges which are selected using this push button. So if I pull that out, that'll be on the um, 0 to 40 ohm range. If I push it in, it's at the 0 to 4 ohm range. And if I just get some random length of resistance wire, I'll clip that on. Okay. You can see it's pretty stable, so that's reading 0 0.3419 ohms, so about 341.9, 341.8 ohms, and it doesn't really change, it's pretty stable, doesn't seem to drift or anything. Okay, so if I power this thing off, you can see what's inside it. Make a bit of room. I've actually not um, glued anything in place just yet, so the circuit board is just kind of hanging, hanging there. Uh, but it all fits really nicely. Let me try to get some better lighting on that. Okay, so you can see inside here, um, most of the space at the top is taken up by the connectors. I used slightly larger banana sockets than I really needed. These are, I think, 24 amp ones. That's totally overkill, but that's all I had. I'll unplug that. Uh, and that's five volt DC input here. And well, I can disassemble that so you can see it's actually yeah not, not really fitted in there at the moment. And it looks like there's a lot of trimmers in there, but actually, um, because it's a prototype design, uh, these, and actually now found they're not needed. So uh, when Frank respins the board, I think he may make the like do not fit uh, values. Uh, so really at the moment, there's just one trimmer, which is used to uh, adjust the amplification uh, in order to, uh, because the, the, the constant current isn't exactly 10 milliamps. Uh, but it is a stable value so 
uh, it, the amplifier needs to multiply by about 100 but that value needs to be trimmed so the trimming process is simple just pick a resistor um, preferably a high value like three or four ohms and stick that on the four, uh, four wire kelvin connectors and then just trim the the, the trimmer so that the right value is read out and uh, it is really tiny it's just, I think it's the smallest test instrument I've got it'll fit together quite nicely Okay, I've got five resistors here and I measure them using four wire mode with the meter. So let's get that plugged in. Okay. Alright, smallest resistance first. Okay. That's eight point six or eight point seven milliamps. Okay, fifteen point five or fifteen point six, fifteen point six milliamps. Okay, this one will be a higher resistance again. Hundred twenty five point five, hundred twenty five point six milliamps. Three one nine. Point nine three one nine point nine million milliamps. Yeah, between three hundred nineteen and three hundred twenty milliamps. I think. Yeah, close to three hundred twenty milliamps. All right. I put three ten ohm resistors in parallel, and uh, I think these are metal film ones. I'm not entirely sure. Three point three one nine ohms. Okay, I'm going to measure five resistors with the homemade milliometer now. And take the smallest resistance first. Eight point seven milliamps. Right. Fifteen point three, Hundred and twenty seven point four milliamps or hundred and twenty seven by five. Three hundred and twenty point four milliamps. Okay, last one. Three point three two two ohms. Okay. 